Hey guys movie recap here. Today I will show you the movie, Sick of Myself, from 2022. We start at a birthday celebration of a blonde girl. She's with her boyfriend in a restaurant. The boyfriend asked for expensive wine. He requested that he should be the one who poured it, not the waiter. We notice that the couple is concerned about the people around them and what they see them doing. The blonde girl is named Signy. Although it is her birthday, she looks stressed. We see that the boyfriend, Thomas, is authoritative and imposing on her. They have a competitive relationship. She receives a call, and when she was going out to pick up her phone the people of the restaurant lit a candle and surprised her. However, her boyfriend told her to go out and take the call and stayed with the bottle. He likes to steal stuff, and he gets in trouble inside the restaurant while his girlfriend is speaking on the phone outside. We see that one of the recurrent themes of conversation between the couple is narcissism. They go to a party, where we find out that Thomas, the boyfriend, had a breakthrough in his art career. He is a modern art design. A woman at the party told Signy that being a narcissist could help him grow. We then go to a pastry shop. Signy works there and lives a tragedy. A wounded woman entered the place and Signy had to help her. The woman had been bitten by a dog. The police arrived later and questioned Signy. She told them that she just wanted to help. She went to her place with her clothes still stained with blood and found Thomas working and asking to order some food. He didn't even look at her at first, so she went to another room. We see that Thomas has a lot of designer chairs. It seems he has stolen a lot of them. Thomas approached Signy, who told him the story about the accident and the bitten woman. She was pleased when Thomas was paying attention to her. Later, she told some of her friends the same story and said someone should write about it. Signy has a journalist friend and is desperate for her story to be known. Later she went to have dinner with her boyfriend and a couple of friends. She was once again telling her story when the boyfriend interrupted, asking for a favor for one of his expositions. He made it look as if Signy's story didn't matter at all. After this, we see that Thomas presents his designs, and a lot of people came to see them. We notice that Signy is left out, and doesn't know who to talk to. The exposition is followed by a dinner, a celebration of Thomas's art. One of the attendees asked Signy if she was Thomas's sister. Signy was allergic to nuts but ate from a plate full of them. She was about to choke but stopped just before a tragedy happened. Everyone at the table was focused on her. This made her gain a little confidence to speak with the other people at the table. Thomas again interrupted her and started talking about his art. He said art is a necessary evil. Meanwhile, Signy choked again because of her allergy and faints. Thomas says he just wants to wrap up his speech, although his girlfriend is almost dying. They later walk home together, and Signy cries. We learn that she is still traumatized because of the events at her place of work. The next day, she finds a dog on the street and tries to make him bite her. She got into a fight with the owner, who insulted her for provoking the dog. She then goes home and finds out some pictures on the internet about a Russian drug that causes skin damage. She imagined her photo is there. Thomas arrived and tried to see what was she seeing on the laptop, but she refused. She ended up tossing the laptop off the window. Signy then went to a guy's place, where he says he was sorry for sending her a photo she didn't ask for. Signy went there to buy drugs. She asked the guy about the pills she had been reading about on the laptop. The guy found the pills and Signy just told him she wanted to buy all of them. It seems the drug is an anxiety reliever pill, with some nasty side effects. The pills arrived at Signy's place of work, and she started taking them immediately. The pills made her slow and sleepy at first, and it always seemed as if she didn't have energy and just wanted the days to pass. After some days, she noticed some red marks on her body. Thomas also saw them and told her to go to the doctor. She went to the doctor but refused to show the marks, as she was more focused on the attention she could get than on her health. Thomas was supposed to pick her up at the appointment, but stayed at his place and forgot about Signy. He was focused on some pictures for a magazine and wasn't concerned about his girlfriend. She then took some more pills. She felt her pulse going down, and just closed the door and slept until the next day. All the pills caused a tremendous reaction in her skin. Her face got inflammation, and she started seeing things. She woke up and Thomas had to take her to the hospital. The doctors had to put a mask on her face, and she had to stay in the clinic for some days. She imagined a doctor accusing her, and then stood up to go to a mirror and take some pictures of her. When Thomas visits her, the first thing he asks is if what Signy had was contagious. Signy then asks if people were asking for her. Thomas cried for a while and said he was sorry for not having been with her, and gave her a copy of the magazine with him on the cover. Signy's mother also visited her. She said they should get out of there. 
Thomas gets Signe out of the hospital, and she looks disappointed because not that many people had visited or texted her. Later the couple gets to their house and Signe asks his boyfriend to speak about how her funeral would be if she died. She fantasized about people liking her and crying because of her absence. Signe then went to therapy at a place her mom had recommended to her. The mother also attended the meetings. Another woman said she would wish to have her conditions, that they weren't as bad as other people's. The therapist has an individual session with Signe. On it, he suggested that she should take the mask off and get some fresh air. She then takes it off and asks Thomas to take some pictures of her. Later, Signe asks her journalist to interview her for the news. Signe wanted the same type of attention her boyfriend was getting. During the interview, Thomas interrupted and asked to take one of the chairs off, because he wanted it for his next exposition and didn't want any news outlet to print it. We then see Signe being interviewed on national television. His father showed up and asked her for forgiveness. Another of her friends that didn't visit her at the hospital also showed up. Finally, Signe grabbed a microphone and sang a song. This was another of Signe's dreams. Back to reality, the news of her sickness got published and Signe seemed satisfied because of it. Then she was disappointed because other news had been put up on the webpage, and hers was at the bottom. Signe asked Thomas if he was proud of her. He said he was, and she looked happy at last. She saw her story in the paper and felt excited about it. She looked confident and radiant. Later, at a party, her friend asked her about her dealer. Signe said he was dead. She imagined her friend finding out about her lie. She started getting cramps. Cramps were another side effect of the pills. Signe then went to her dealer's house and found out that he had also been taking the pills. He had even given them to his mother because Signe had told him that the pills were good for sleeping. We also see Thomas entering a gallery, trying to steal some furniture. He got into a fight with the guard of the place. Signe then went to a place for a casting. The woman in charge offered her a job in modeling, but Signe started bleeding. Her disease had gotten worse. She coughed blood and returned to the interview. She said everything was fine and signed a contract. We then see that Signe is a successful model who works for different brands. Her boyfriend begged for her attention. Once again, this was just her fantasy. She went to eat with her friends and told them about the modeling contract. Thomas challenged her again and she lost it for a while. She became angry with her friends because they didn't seem impressed with her modeling job. The friends responded that being with them was awkward because they were always fighting and competing. They decided to leave, then we see that Signe's hair started to fall off her head. Her skin was also worse. She went to an art gallery with her new boss to do a photo shoot. Her health was now in a terrible state. Signe imagines going to her journalist friend's place and confessing that she was sick because of the pills she took. In the dream, her friend responded that she should tell the story and that she should write a book about it. This was also a fantasy, as she had felt asleep in the gallery. Her agency boss took her to the shoot, but there wasn't enough time for her because she had arrived late. However, Signe followed the other model to the bathroom and locked her in. She returned alone. The photographers and directors used that time to do the shooting. She did a good job. She started to feel ill but managed to say the lines. Right when she finished, she started bleeding again and fell to the floor. She had to be taken to the hospital again, and her boyfriend stayed with her. We then see Signe at her place. The police had taken away Signe and Thomas's stuff. They were investigating him for stealing. The house looked empty. The journalist friend visited her and Signe finally told her the truth about her disease. The dream of writing a book and being famous alongside Thomas was just a dream. She went to the meetings again and said her boyfriend was in jail. His lie had also fallen. What do you think about Signe's actions? How did she manage to do all those things with those pills on her body? Tell us in the comments. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, thanks see you for the next one.